I don't know if this lighting is going to be okay at all, so I'm sorry. Hi there friends, I'm here today to talk to you about a question I get asked a lot, which is, how do you have your life so together? There are lots of variations on this question, like, you have your life so together, how are you always so pulled together, how do you always look great, like, that sounds weird, but like outfit wise. Um, I get asked this a lot. My favorite is when someone says, how do you have your life so together? And I'm like, it's four o'clock and I've already cried twice. So basically my first point is that there are a lot of people who seem like they have themselves pulled together. A lot of times people actually don't. Most people are dealing with something, they're stressed about something. I felt so adrift for part of last year in what I wanted for my life, what I was doing with my life. And people would still be like, wow, you look like you have your life so together. And I was like, excuse me? So here's the thing. Sometimes you see these people, you think they have their lives together. They probably don't. They're just better at faking it, which is what this video is here to help you with. If you want to learn how to fake having your life together, keep watching. Now, of course, these methods won't work for everyone, but this is what I do. This is what I do that I perceive as making me seem like I have my life pulled together. First, I've come to a very good knowledge of who I am as a person. I love theater, blogging, and social media, and history. I have a fairly, I, this sounds weird, but I feel like I know my personal brand fairly well. Um, and so like, if someone asks me about something theater, I know what it is. I follow things on Twitter. I keep up to date with that kind of thing. And I think that actually having a, a certain knowledge of current events makes you seem like your life is pulled more together. And I'm not saying that I know everything that's going on, but just by being on social media, being on Facebook, on Twitter, talking to people about things, I have a general idea of what's going on in the world. You know, I know that, unfortunately, a lot of people died in Haiti from Hurricane Matthew. I watched the presidential debate and please vote for Hillary if you're American. Please, please, please. Um, I, you know, I know what's going on in the theater world because that's my niche. Um, so I think that that actually does play into it. My second tip, not everyone is a list person. I would not know where to go, where to turn, what to do if I did not make lists. Actually, let me show you something. I am almost an excessive list maker. I said almost, I am. I make an excessive amount of lists. I have these four notebooks and notepads here, which I can show you. This is my notepad on which I make a list of all the things that need to get done during the week and I put it up um, right in front of my desk so I see it every day. So for example, I'm looking at it now. It has things like film video, which I'm doing right now, um, wash towels. Um, it has like long-term projects that need to be done by the end of the week on it. So that helps me kind of, if I'm in my room, if I finish my homework for the next day, I can look and be like, what else do I need to do today? Cool. The next one, I have this great little notepad. Um, this is from Target. I think they might still have it. The other one, I don't know where you could find because I took it from my grandmother's house. Um, but this is where I write down each of my classes and all the homework for that week. So at the beginning of the week, I'll look at all my syllabi and I'll say, okay, these are the reading assignments for the week. And then as I get more projects added on throughout the week or assignments, I add them on. This is really nice because like the other day I was like, all I feel like doing is some reading. So I looked and I did all the reading that I had this week. So this kind of helps me keep organized. It makes me realize how much work I have for my classes in a given week. This is a Carrie Hope Fletcher notebook, a hopeful notebook, um, which I'm obsessed with. And this is where I do all of my blogging stuff. So I have a list of videos to film, blog posts to write. Um, and then I just keep notes in it. Like, let's see, I have a video schedule. So you can see I schedule out some of my videos in advance. That's not to say that I always do everything like super in advance or that I always stick to it, but it's really nice whenever like Tuesday rolls around and I'm like, I still don't know what I wanna film for my Wednesday, Thursday video, that I can look on my list of video ideas and pick one off. It really helps me um, stay organized and stay on top of things. Then I have my bullet journal. I filmed a whole video about my bullet journal, um, which I can link down below if you want to see it. But in it, I do, I'll have like, let's see, let me find it. Okay, here's my weekend to-do list. I always do a weekend to-do list um, because it kind of helps me see what all I need to accomplish in the weekend. And then also I obviously have my daily to-do list and my weekly spread. So without my bullet journal, I would be lost. Um, that's not a joke. I literally have to write down when my classes are because sometimes I forget. 
Um, sometimes if I have a really busy day, I will write down like eat lunch. Um, because otherwise sometimes I will forget to eat lunch. Um, and it just really helps me stay on top of things. It makes sure that if I make plans with a friend, I always write them down so that then they're not like, we're getting dinner tonight, right? And I'm like, what? Um, so yeah, lists. Lists are how I keep my life in check. I love lists. I love stationery. It's also really just an excuse to use a lot of cute stationery. So, win-win. My next tip is to dress nicely. Now, obviously, you can't be dressed nicely all the time. But if you're trying to make people think that you have yourself together, dressing nicely really helps. Now, one thing that I've found helpful, right now I'm actually really enjoying putting together new outfit combinations, but sometimes what I'll do is kind of come up with a formula that's kind of like my own personal uniform. Um, so like for a while I was wearing just like dresses and cardigans and boots. And that was it. It was simple. Every morning I could throw together another combination really quickly. Um, I didn't, I went an entire semester where I basically just wore like pomp leggings, which are those leggings that are kind of more like pants, um, nicer t-shirts, um, and jackets and boots. And like that was what I wore. I knew what to wear in the morning. I also almost always think about at least what I'm going to wear the night before. Sometimes I will pick out my full outfit if I have like an early day. Sometimes I'll wait and pick it out in the morning, but I always do kind of at least check in with what the weather is going to be the night before. Um, and now this doesn't mean that you have to be dressed like fancy every day. Like, um, I just bought a pair of really nice sweatpants from Topshop. They were kind of on the expensive side, but they feel so nice and they fit well and they look good. So I would, I actually like, I have I haven't worn sweatpants to class, I think, since I was a freshman, but I'm actually thinking about wearing these to class one day because they are that nice. But they look nicer, so I'm not going to look sloppy. Um, another really good tip for girls is wear your leggings and, like, a longer flannel. You still look super cute, especially if you pair, like, boots with it or something, but you're super comfortable. So basically, I don't know, that's the thing that I do, is I always try and dress nicely. Also, if I have a day where I'm feeling like I'm falling apart a little bit, I will wear something that makes me feel the most me. So like, I know that I feel the most me in a pair of high-heeled boots. So they make me walk a certain way that makes me, um, if I'm walking in high-heeled shoes, I feel more confident about myself. It's just a fact. It's hard to not feel confident when you're like walking in high-heeled boots down a hallway. Um, so that's a tip of mine too. I also would say if you are someone who wears makeup, get down a fairly simple makeup routine that you can wear on mornings where you just want to look presentable and awake. Um, learn what works for you. I never leave the house without putting on foundation and curling my eyelashes because I am somewhat, um, insecure about my skin because I still have quite a bit of like acne and spots for someone who was 22 years old. Um, and also I feel like just by curling my eyelashes, I look like three times more awake than I did before, which obviously I'm not saying that like you have to be dressed up all the time to, and like wear full makeup to look like you have your life together, but like it helps to a certain extent just because it makes you, I think, feel better about yourself, which leads into my fourth tip, which is be confident. Fake it until you make it. I know people hate hearing that, but it works for me. Sometimes I feel like my life's falling apart, and if I just, you know, have myself pulled together, I know what I'm doing for my lists, I, you know, know what I'm going about, and I just kind of act like I have my life together, it works. And to a certain extent, it starts to make you feel like you have your life together, especially when people start telling you that you do. There's nothing like that. Find friends who will tell you that you have your life together. Um, but really, I think faking it is so important. I will have days where I feel like I'm a mess, but I try not to let that show. Um, at least not to like the general world. I am a huge proponent of talking about your emotions, talking about your feelings with your friends or um, going to therapy, whatever works for you, because I used to be someone who held all my emotions in and that really doesn't work for me and I discovered that. I think it's really important to talk about things with people. But that being said, you don't have to talk about it with everyone that you meet. And I do think that acting confident builds confidence. I used to think that was such a cop-out for advice, but the more you try it, the more you will realize how true it is. And if you need help building confidence, listen to your favorite music. Whenever I listen to Hamilton specifically, like Skylar Sisters or Yorktown or something like that, I get so pumped up that I'm like, yeah, I can do this. Um, God, I'm like a cliche of myself, but yeah, listen to Hamilton.
It'll make you feel like you have your life together. I don't know where that went. I don't really know where this video ended up. I just kind of wanted to address this because so often I get told that I look like I have my life together and I most of the time feel like I don't. Um, so I did want to make a video just saying that like, there are some ways that you can look like you have yourself together when you don't at all. Um, if anyone out there is trying to do that. I don't know what this turned into. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up to make me feel better about my weird rant. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you want to see my norm normal videos that will be coming, next week I'm hoping to have a video up about um, Halloween costumes, which I'm really excited about. But if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed so that it will come to your subscription box. Um, and yeah, leave a comment if you have anything to add. Otherwise, you can find me on social media at NicoleAckman16 or um, on my blog, uh, flowercrownsandrevolutionaries.blogspot.com. Um, I will see you next week with another video. Bye. I don't really know what this video was. It sounded like such a good idea in my head.